Hi everyone, it's Kath here from Best Coffee, and this is the Opal One capsule machine. Coffee roasters all over the world are starting to put specialty coffee into capsules, making it even easier for you to have a delicious espresso at home. But you still need a good capsule machine to get the best out of those coffees. And that's where the Opal One comes in. This machine has got serious expertise behind it. It was developed in conjunction with Maxwell Colonna Dashwood, who is a three-time UK barista champion and also a pioneer of specialty coffee capsules in the UK. This is the Opal One, the first machine designed specifically to bring the best out of Colonna coffee. Now it does this by utilising a unique silicon brew chamber. This combined with a higher temperature and a higher pressure means that you're going to get a fuller bodied, stronger cup of coffee than ever before. The Opal One was designed with a real scientific approach to espresso extraction in mind. And there's a couple of key features that really highlight this. It has an adjustable brew temperature, so you can choose between low, medium and high. The highest brewing temperature is optimal for brewing espresso. I've had a look at some other capsule machines and quite frankly, their temperatures don't even come close to what you need to brew good quality espresso. It has a unique silicone brewing chamber. So just so you pop the capsule, inside is lined with a silicone casing and when you close the handle it forms a nice tight seal around the capsule so what that means is when the water is pushed through it goes straight through the capsule through the coffee dissolves any of the coffee solubles we want and makes a nice espresso there's no leaking of water around the outside of the capsule. Other capsule machines have a brewing chamber that's made with a rigid plastic. So if the capsule doesn't fit perfectly snug inside the brewing chamber, what you get is water leaking around the outside and you end up with an under extracted watery espresso. Not good. The silicone brewing chamber also means that this machine has 100% compatibility with any Nespresso style capsules. So you don't have to worry about having failed pods. The silicone chamber takes care of that for you. It also has an intelligent flow rate, which aids in the extraction of espresso as well. And it's really easy to use. So if you're looking for a way to make a quick, tasty espresso at home, get yourself an Opal capsule machine, get yourself some specialty coffee pods, and away you go. It couldn't be any easier. Okay, a really quick guide on how to use your Opal One capsule machine. First of all, you need to make sure that it is filled with water. So you can either just lift up the back flap here and pour water directly in, or you can remove this entire chamber and fill water up this way. Always use high quality soft water. If it's the first time that you're using your Opal One, make sure you follow the manual and give it a good flush before your first use. It also comes with this handy pump. So if you're having trouble getting the water to pump through the very first time, or also after times where you haven't used it for a while, this will help you out there. Okay, turn the machine on and just allow it to heat up. The lights will flash while it's heating and they will be solid once it's ready for you to use. I'd recommend setting this to the hottest brewing temperature straight away. So to do that, turn the machine off, hold down the left and middle, middle buttons at the same time, turn the machine on, and you'll see it go red at the top here. Now you just need to select the far right button for the hottest temperature and that will be set now. Turn the machine off and back on again. Now it's blue and it's ready for you to brew. Before you brew a capsule, I would always recommend giving it one quick flush of water just to bring it up to brewing temperature and also flush out any old gunk that might have been left in there from the last time you used it.
Okay, and just discard that water. So now you're ready to brew. I would recommend using weight instead of the volume presets that are already in this machine. So right now as it is, the left button is set for 25 mils, the middle button is set for 40 mils, and the far right button is set for 110 mils. I would get a set of scales out and I would follow the instructions on my specialty coffee capsules that I'm going to brew. So most roasters will give you a little guide and they will recommend how much your espresso should weigh. Okay, so the best way to do this is to just remove the drip tray, keep your pod container underneath so it can catch any dispensed pods and get a little set of scales and just pop them underneath. If you're using a small cup like me, you can actually lower this spout down and you'll get less splashing. Now, the capsules I'm about to use have a recommended beverage weight of 25 grams. So what I want to do, because I've got a few of these, is I want to program the machine so that it always produces 25 grams of liquid. So the way to do that is pop your capsule in, close the handle, Pick a button that I want to set. So I'm going to set the left button and I'm just going to hold it in. So it might take a little while. Just make sure my scales are teared. And it's starting to brew now. Keep holding in the button. And my target weight is 25 grams. Once it hits around 18 grams, I'm actually going to release the button because there's always a little bit more liquid that comes out. Okay, so I've hit about 24 and a half grams. I'm pretty happy about that. And now that left button is set and I've got a few of these pods. So every time I push that left button, I should get 25 grams of liquid coming out and I should get a great tasting espresso. Now that you've preset your button, you can get rid of the scales and put your drip tray back underneath. There we go. To release the capsule that's inside, just lift up the handle and it will fall into the pod catching chamber here. You can just lift that out and dispense of them. The machine goes into an energy saving mode after 15 minutes and the lights will flash so you'll know that it's in that energy saving mode. If you're worried about recycling your capsules, the U-Press can really help out with that. So the way this works is take out your coffee capsules that have been used, pop it into your U-Press, push down, And now what you've got is the aluminium casing. You can just give that a quick rinse to rinse out any of the coffee grounds that might have got stuck. That can go in the recycling. And then inside the chamber, you have your ground coffee that can go into the compost. So that's how to use your Opal One capsule machine. Make sure you use soft filtered water. Make sure you give it a flush first before you brew. Make sure you set it on the hottest brewing temperature and make sure you weigh your espresso when you're brewing it. Happy brewing!